Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up um, Cura 3D to get your printing happening. You have to do this to get um, any sort of positive results from your model. So I'm going to go through the download or downloading the profile files, setting up the machine files for the printer, and also how to export a model to a G code. So this is everything you should be able to do to provide the file for printing. So to start off with, we're going to go into our preferences. So that's file, um, it's Cura and preferences. And we're going to start off with the printer. So I've already got this set up, but to do this, we're going to go add, and we're going to choose other, and we're going to look for a um, the um, one of these ones. So we're going to start with that one, and we're going to add the printer. So here we go. Um, it's actually for the AnyCube, so AnyCube, and OK. So now um, we, we actually have some settings we need to change on this, and just to show you, we're going to change these to this. So there's a bit to type out. Um, these should be available on the links in the form that you need to fill out to upload your files, and they should uh, um, you should be able to find the start and end code so you don't have to type it all out. So it's really simple. Back in here, we click our AnyCube, we go Machine Settings. And this window is um, where we need to change the width to 210, the depth, and the height is 205 millimeters. And it says rectangular, that's the same as a square, it's a special kind of rectangle. So um, the start code and the end code, I have these on my um, clipboard manager, and this is my end code, and my start code is the same, so I just need to um, select all that, copy it, and paste it there. So that's starting in code. So once you've done that, you click close, and we can rename it, and we can go activate. So that is my default printer now. So the other thing we need to do is we need to adjust some materials. So in here, I'm going to import, oh, import, sorry, import, get this right, and you should have some files that are called PLA, XML, FDM material. So we're going to open that, and that will import there. So we've got um, We've got the default one, and this is our this is our one that we've changed. So it should see something like that. We can change the display settings, all that sort of stuff, and we can change our print settings. Those are all okay. Um, and the other one we're going to import is the oh, no, we won't import that yet um, if because we're only printing in PLA. So this has the density, the diameter, the cost, and this enables us to actually cost out how much our prints are going to do. Um, so we're going to close that. Now to print, we're going to change our material to PLA. We're going to, no, that should be all right. Um, our printer is our AnyCube because we set it to the default one. Our profile we'll look at it shortly. So I'm going to open a file and what am I going to, uh, Technic Gear. So this is a little model that um, we have. Now, oh, what we're going to have to do is rotate it and we're going to rotate it by 90 degrees so that it's flat and it should be on the build plate. So when you're setting something up, you've got to think about how it's going to print. So it's going to print layers across there, and if I um, if I have it like this, it's going to print Google, and it's going to need a lot of support to um, lay it flat. It prints in layers, and it's um, much stronger, and it's actually going to take less material. Now, our um, fine that is that just gives us how um, the quality of it. So if it's your first print or if it's a um, prototype, you might choose draft or um, low quality. For something like this with a lot of detail, I'm going to choose fine. Now, if you infill is how solid it is. Now you might think, oh, I'm going to make it 100% solid. But that causes problems and it is a waste of filament. Um, down the um, bottom here, you can actually see the infill does not make much difference on the... Um, the cost or the size of it. So 20% is average strength and 50% is actually quite strong. But we're going to go with 20% and because I know that I built this um, wrong size, I'm actually going to scale it up. I'm going to click uniform scaling and I know that I have to scale it up by 200%. So And this now tells me it's 40 mil and that's what I actually need. It's going to take about 45 minutes, um, nearly a what, 90 centimeters of filament, 2 grams. It's going to cost about 14 cents of materials. So that's cost doesn't take into account the actual printer cost, doesn't take into account the actual um, time it takes either. So um, at the moment, this is just for estimates and we don't like, you're not going to be costed this or anything like that. So then we actually need to go save to a file and it has to be a G code. Okay, so G code is the file. So you might have 
um, downloaded an STL, or you might have heard STLs are what they do, but all printers support G-code, and this is what we need. So we can have STLs or whatever, but we are printing a G-code file. We're gonna save that, and it should save to an SD card, or this is the one that you're going to email out um, or upload to the form. So where was that? The Technic Gear, it was uh, that one there. So, and just to show you, it is a text document, um, and just tells, text document it's a text document so it just tells the printer how to actually print so a um, bunch of coordinates and times so quite large so don't edit it um, and then it has the encode um, that we set up earlier so don't edit that um, and you should be fine so back in here save to file and you're ready to go so you, um, you don't click print or anything like that you've got the g-code file and that goes onto an SD card and into the printer. And that is it. Thank you very much.